welcome to today's edition of Garage Story. Today is Monday and we will be pulling out an engine that I have someone meeting up for tomorrow. So basically I've been talking to this guy for a little while and he wants to come through town tomorrow because he's actually from out of state and I need to meet up with him. So here's the engine. I checked it out. It runs good. I sent him a video. He's happy. He did say he wants the exhaust, so I need to pull that out as well. It's kind of rusty. So yeah, I need to get this out, but it's going to be raining soon and I haven't had dinner yet. So I'm going to see if we can shove this into the shop and then come back and work on it after dinner. <laughs> should go pretty quick to get out of here and since I don't have to package it up that's great this engine doesn't run 100% perfect it has a slight hesitation at um, idle I think the pilot mixture is not right or rather I think the pilot jet is dirty so I ran some fuel treatment through there and whatnot and it's still it's a little better if he's happy with it I don't want to mess with it anymore the ditch is working Ah. ah, okay, um, I forgot about that. Yeah, okay. This is actually really good. I'm out here during the rain. I'm not normally in here while it's raining. That looks a little wet. So I've got water flowing through here. About that deep. Uh huh. Okay. I knew it gets wet in here. I didn't know it get got that wet. Oh yeah. There it is, flowing in right out the hillside right there. Okay. Not a surprise. I dug away all the dirt over there, trying to get a ditch, but what I succeeded in doing is uncovering that slit in the wall. I need to do something about that. Wow. Huh. Well, enough with all the shock and awe. Let's see if we can figure out how to work on this engine around this. So, this engine looks very straightforward to take out, a little more complicated than some. I just took off this shield there. It goes in my scrap metal parts. And there. But so basically, you got four bolts that hold an engine down, pretty much the same on all mower engines. And you got your throttle cable and sometimes a, a choke cable. You've got your wire harness, your fuel line, and your starter wire. And that's pretty much it. There's not normally much else. Other than that, there is the flywheel, I'm uh, not flywheel, the crankshaft pulley and bolt in the underside. Um, so if everything goes well, you can pull an engine in probably 20 minutes maybe. I mean, it's not that big a deal. If things don't go well, then you're at the mercy of whatever that is, that rusted fastener or whatever. Um, but let's see, hopefully we can get this one done in 20 minutes. So we're almost ready for the fun part. And we get to pull the engine out. So I didn't mention it before, but I uh, needed to install all these bolts that go around the outside here to hold this plastic cover on and then the one under there. So I did that. I had them sitting over there. I also need to put this on. So when I test ran this the other day, I did get this thing on. Well, I kind of put this on, but I realized really quick it was going to spin off, but I only had one bolt on it. But I didn't have this down, pushed down all the way. So what I did is I kind of ended up burning a little bit of the plastic in here. I made a groove right here. Oh well, can't do much about that. But hey, uh, let's see if we can hit these bolts with the impact. See if they'll come out. Sweet, that's going down. And, ah, uh, I can't get it. Bummer. Ah. 
It's so nice having an impact driver. Got the muffler off and got the first bolt out and got this thing jacked up. Sorry for the odd lighting, it's getting dark and I need to see it in my flashlight. You can see from down here these bolts. Ah. Yep, I need to take off that one. I just took off the one over there. So, should be pretty quick and easy. You can kind of see it on the top side right in there. Oh yeah, that was easy. Sweet. Two more bolts to go. See if we can get them. Sometimes these ones are harder to reach. Because uh, the steering arms are in the way. And since I just jacked it up on my steering parts, I can't really turn the wheel easily this time. You can see it behind that wiring. That means we just have one left over here. And then this engine's almost out. Except for the flywheel or the crankshaft. Okay. Oh, yeah. Took a little bit. Man, it is raining out there. Kind of loud. Now I just have to get that one bolt off the underside and we'll be good to go. This one is sometimes really hard to get off here. put a pair of vice grips on here to lock it down. So the idea is I put these on there and it'll spin and hit something and stop and then I can back out the pulley against that. And that rain is coming down. We got a bigger set of vice grips on there. See if they hold it. Work. All right. Get that off. That means there's nothing holding this engine in anymore. We are good to go. So see if I can get the hoist over here and start picking this thing up. That water is flowing bad. It's like an inch or two deep. There's a lot of current in there. Wow. Oh well. That's what I gotta put up with. At least I have a spot that's not raining on me too much. So we have successfully pulled an engine. See, I started around 7, it's about 8.30 now, so I took about an hour and a half, but I also took some breaks and it was really wet. So, all in all, not that bad. Um, I'm happy to have it out. It's still raining out here and I'm having to yell because it's so loud. It's always nice to get rain, but man, this shop is so flooded, I don't really know what to do about it. So anyway, this was a successful engine pull and um, I think tomorrow I'll load it up and we'll meet the guy and sell it to him.
I may give him a little bit of a discount um, just because I want him to be happy and there may be some things on this that aren't perfect. The agreed to price is $300 and I may knock $50 off that, we'll see. I'm going to have to drive probably about 30 minutes to meet him, so there is that, I have to consider that. Hey, $250, that's not bad. That's it for tonight. See you guys tomorrow. Alright, it's a beautiful Tuesday evening and I need to get that engine. I pulled out yesterday, I need to load it in the back of the car, in the trunk. Because my truck isn't working right now. It kind of works, but I don't know if I should drive it much. I think it's got a bad coil pack. Ah, it's nice and bright in here. It's like an indoor swimming pool. It's dried up a little bit. I've only got like an inch of water back here. And the water is almost to the top of those two bays at the back of the shop there. I ended up doing I put a board down in there so that feels pretty secure to me now I don't think that's gonna go anywhere unless I drive crazy however I know that this board down here could pop off the oil filter at any minute you know I think I've got what I need to get the engine there in safety well it's right about the beat up time I'm not quite there yet he hasn't even messaged me so chances are he's running late he was coming from an hour and a half away so lots of possibilities for him to get late and um, we're going to be meeting at Bass Pro Shops so hopefully everything goes for the The car worked great for removing the engine. Um, that strap held it pretty fine, except for the part where it didn't. We actually had a dog jump out in the road, or actually it was in the road, right over a hill. So like a half mile from our house, I had to stop and set the engine back up. Unfortunately, I totally forgot to bring the muffler, which he had asked for specifically. He did say he wants the exhaust. I'm totally fine getting rid of that stuff um, with something like that because I don't normally sell them. If somebody wanted one separately, yeah, I'd charge for it because of the time it takes to sell it. But for in this scenario, yeah, take the muffler, take the bolts. That's all scrap metal and not much of that. I forgot it, so they had to come all the way back here, follow us, but they were pretty, really cool with it. They liked the area. They were interested to drive a little farther. At the end of the day, we made the sale. I knocked off $25. I think they're happy. I'm happy. We're done and another day doing mower parts. I don't know how to close out a silly video. It's the end of another garage story. That sounds kind of dumb. Anyway, so long. <laughs>